So that is the stand of the BJP that Article 370 will never come back to the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Now, staying with Jammu and Kashmir, ladies and gentlemen, remember we are in the election cycle and post the abrogation of Article 370, now what we are seeing in the Kashmir Valley, Valley is the flourishing of democracy, breaking all records of the last few decades when it comes to voter turnout, ladies and gentlemen. Baramulla recorded 59% polling on Monday, the highest in four decades, where a similar figure was clocked in only back in the year 1984. Srinagar has also seen 38.49% turnout on the 13th of May, the highest in 30 years. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this voter turnout figure at the end of the day comes in the post-Article 370 era, where many local residents of the Kashmir Valley, even the Kashmiri parties themselves, have acknowledged the fact that the improved law and order situation is the reason why there is no fear among the voters to come out and cast their ballots. I'm joined by Dr. Nirmal Singh, former Deputy Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, who's joining us on this a very encouraging development coming in from the Kashmir Valley, primarily the flourishing of democracy. Dr. Singh, thank you for joining us on CNN News 18. My first question to you, is this turnout that we're seeing in the Kashmir Valley, in Baramulla and Srinagar, is this nothing more than the ultimate victory of the abrogation of Article 370? Uh, Yushman, uh, uh... This is the victory of the Indian nation. Mm -hmm. This is the victory of the nation's stand on Jammu and Kashmir. Because the, those people who were in favor of Article 370, 35A, they were befooling Jammu Kashmir people, especially the Kashmiris. Now they have been exposed. And you see that uh, during the last 10 years, of, uh, especially after the abrogation of Article 370, uh, uh, on 5th August 2019, the people of Jammu Kashmir, they have seen tremendous well, uh, the, the progress here. Two crore tourists, they have come to Kashmir. There is no store parenting. The children, they are going to schools. The Kashmiris, they are coming in fly colors, flying colors in the games and uh, competition. There are civil services in uh, other areas. So now, the Kashmiris, they are uh, witnessing them. It. So, those people who are in favor of loose accession, they have been, they are completely exposed. And this move, what which you were talking, the verdict of uh, the Supreme Court on the review petition, that was a political move. These people, they knew that uh, a constitutional bank headed by Honorable Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of India, they had, and everything was discussed in view of the public. Everybody was uh, uh, seeing that. But because they were uh, uh, propagating one agenda right. since 1950, and Abhijay Jaira ko and that's the situation. And I challenge them. Let them contest this forthcoming assembly election on Article 370. Right. So in your and opinion, not, so in your opinion, as a not, as a political tool as well, Article 370 has been defeated as a political tool in the Kashmir Valley as well. But as you were saying, Dr. Nirmal Singh, that uh, the Kashmiri parties are not changing their tone. We have that reaction coming in from Iltija Mufti, who said that we Muslims, and I quote, this is what she's put out on Twitter, we Muslims watch helplessly as institutions meant to uphold the constitution unravel and disintegrate. She has reacted to the Supreme Court ruling upholding the abrogation of Article 370, dismissing all the review petitions. Uh, why do you think, looking at the fact that democracy is flourishing in the Kashmir Valley, no bandh calls, no boycott calls, no stone pelting, as you are pointing out, the political narrative of the Kashmiri parties, like the PDP, have not changed? Actually, this is the agenda on which uh, these political parties Three family parties, whether Congress, uh, Nehru's Congress, Abdullah's uh, National Conference, and Mufti's uh, PDP, they were uh, relying on these issues only. They don't, they didn't have any care for the development, peace, and order. 
and employment of the youth of Jammu and Kashmir. But you see that they have been exposed. Now people are not listening to them. They are not listening to them. I am in Poonch. For the last uh, 15 years, mm -hmm. I went to Kashmir also. I visited various areas as cluster head. I have seen that Kashmiris, they are having different agenda. They are for peace, progress, development, which has, they have seen during the last uh, uh, one decade. And uh, they want that it should continue. So these people, they are trying their level best to mislead these people on the mm -hmm. old uh, separatist agenda. But I'm sure that uh, gradually these people shall be completely exposed. And I'll see, I'll say that even if uh, the former head of Jamaite Islami right. is reposing uh, his confidence in democratic process, in Indian constitution, it's the message. Absolutely. It's message. Absolutely. And it's the will of the people which has uh, caused this change of heart amongst groups like the Jamaat e Islami. Before I let you go, Dr. Singh, uh, the criticism coming in from the opposition camp, primarily the Congress, is that if you have transformed the Kashmir Valley, why isn't the BJP contesting in the seats in the Kashmir Valley? Why isn't the BJP, uh, you know, putting up a candidate in the Kashmir Valley is the main criticism coming in. If you have delivered the change to the Kashmir Valley, if normalcy has come because of the abrogation of Article 370 by the efforts of the BJP, why isn't the BJP posting a candidate in the Kashmir Valley? Ajishma, this is my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. This is my understanding that BJP he has decided this with a, it's a visionary step by BJP. Right. You see that the small BJP would have a, 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 this, a, a, put forth its a candidate. Right. The debate would have been on 370, 35A, Hindu, Muslim, Kashmir, Jammu. And these people would have got that opportunity. But we are consolidating the benefits of the application of Article 370. Mm -hmm. And 35A. So now the real issues, now the people of Jammu Kashmir, the majority in push, they are, they are questioning this Kashmiri leadership. What you did to Jammu and Kashmir, the Gujars, the Pahadis, the other people, you exploited us. We were supporting you during the last uh, 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 these, uh, 70 years, but you never gave us which BJP gave them. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, and I agree with you that that is the political calculation at the end of the day when it comes to consolidating the social impact of the abrogation of Article 370. Dr. Singh, I'm sorry, but we'll have to leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us.